stage. What's up everybody? Dylan here with Dylan's whatever the name is right now. I forget. I, I don't forget. I still haven't remade the name to the name I like. But uh, here I'm, I'm reviewing another mask. This would be the Dye Envision Dye I4 mask. And currently it's in, the, it's in the case. You can see a little bit of the reflection there. But I'm gonna I'm gonna start popping it open. So, uh, I got a deal on this mask. This is about a, this is a limited edition, so I'd say about $200, I would guess. I'm guessing right now, because this is a limited edition mask from, like, 2013. So, I got a good deal on it. It's starting to have a bit of a troubles. I am getting it out. But, uh, see, there's a, there's a little bag. Little bag to hold it in, nothing major. And then I got, I got the main lens. The main lens right here for when it's sunny out. Look through it right now. And look at the TV. And then we got a, I got a microfiber glass over it so I can hold both my lenses without scratching the heck out of them. So here's the second lens. I, I got an extra with this, a clear lens. I was using it last, but uh, no. It's a really nice mask, and I really like this tiger striping. It's called the Dye Eye for Tree Orange. Now, this is from a mask from 2013, and I paid about 50 bucks for it, and I got both lenses, the bag. I didn't get the microfiber glass. This is one I just had laying around. But uh, it's a really nice, nice, really good mask. It fits real nice. The foam, it's seeing it's like 2013, the foam's kind of starting to come unglued, but I'll, I'll fix that eventually. Find buy some CA glue or something, glue it in, glue everything back in, and then that needs to be re glued. It's not really that spot right there, probably from the guy that owned it before me, but whatever. It's got real nice bands, it says die on it. The field, the field I play for, and all that's sponsored by die. And Billy Wing goes to the field and stuff, really cool guy. But uh, that's a real good strap, that strap's real nice, masks, real nice. Really, really nice mask. Dye I4 2013 Tree Orange. Uh, it fits. These, these right here. These are the, the side. These, these are ear protectors. And they come on, on Velcro like, like that. And you can just kind of pop them out. So it's just really hot out before a game. You could pop those out. And then it gets real hot. Pop them right back in. Good, you're golden. And then to remove a lens and change one, I'll change it right now. See this little orange tab here? This little black tab here? It's actually, I don't know if you can tell. You push down on it. Kind of hard to see. see if, if I switch around to the other side. Push down and in till it clicks. Get click. And if you look up here, this little strap, if it goes forward, you're good. That little black thing will slide back in the channel. All the way back here. Back here it's locked, that up here it's open. If you look at right now, the, now the mask will slide out on that side. Now you gotta do it to this side again, so let me show you guys one more time. Push down on it. Push in. Uh, if you look, the track should be all the way in the back. And once you click it in. Sometimes you have to pull it back out and click it down real hard and push in. Once you click in it, and then you want to, sometimes you want to just kind of pull on it, pull on it straight back into the mask a little bit so the mask becomes fully released. And then I, I usually just push on the inside because that's that's the hardest part. That's you can clean that once you get it out. Like like I said, see see how it wasn't coming out. I pulled on that side a little bit, pushed it out, popped it out a little bit. That's the lens. Gotta clean this quick, but as you can see, this one's completely clear. I, I got the light on because it's kind of dark. But uh, mask itself is a real nice mask. It feels nice. The foam's really coming. It feels like you're putting your face in a pillow, essentially, but mo much more breathable. And it does not fog. Period. The only thing that fogs with these are my glasses, because you know I wear glasses. I I, I can't tell how that went out, but uh, I wear glasses, so. 
those are the only things that have fog, and that's only when I'm in, like, real shady areas, and it's real, it's a colder day. And it's my glasses that fog, not the actual lens itself. And then as soon as I walk out from under the shade, they go, and clear right up. I've only ever had that happen once. And take for granted, I've, I've played with this a couple times. But I've only ever had that happen once. Real nice mask. Um, your forehead does stick about that far out, depending on how big your mask. On my head, it comes about, my forehead comes from right about there to about there. And then it kind of smooths over my hair and stuff. And then down here, I, I keep mine a little bit, I keep mine a little bit lower. So that's down. But when I'm talking, my jaw comes right about to there. Just out of the mask. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt that bad if you get hit there. It really doesn't. But, uh, the main thing that hurts is getting hit right on top of the head. And that doesn't ever happen. It happened to me once in the two years I've played. Now, they, die brands, all this stuff. And then, let's, let me finish showing you. So, got that lens out, you know, wipe it down, all that fun stuff. I'm gonna wipe that down. This one, what I just do is... Sometimes I'll get them a little bit, I'll just pour a little bit of water on them and wipe them down with the cloth. But mainly, most of the time, I just take a microfiber, just kind of wipe them down, inside and out. And that usually does me just fine. Unless I get a, a super crap ton of paint on them. That What's up, everybody? I'm back. Sorry, my phone died. I use my phone for camera right now. It's actually pretty nice. But, uh, I was in the middle of cleaning it. Uh, yeah, I usually just use my microfiber. When I do that, because it actually works pretty fairly well, unless I get like super crap tons of paint on it, then that's when I uh, go take it to the sink. I ate sushi, and I'm very happy now. <laughs> I love sushi. Sushi's really good. But now here's the process of putting it back in there, right? So, you want to make sure, you know, maybe go back here. Usually I don't do this, but you can pull, you know, just make sure they're back on that. And you're just going to take this lens. I'm going to put my mirrored lens back in, because I want that in. Go ahead and... Push it in. Make sure it's all the way in there. Make sure it's all the way in over here. And then, see right here? Because I, usually I grab onto the mask right about here. Like, I grab on like this. And then I put one hand on here. And I just... And then you just pull together. But for now, pull away from each other. But for now, I'm just going to kind of pull on the band and push on the side. See if that works. Or I'm going to put pressure on the phone. But as you can see, I'm, I'm putting pressure on the mask. And as you can see, it actually pulls that back. When it pulls that back, it actually locks that lens in place. That one's not fully engaged, though, so. There we go. See, you hear the click? It clicked in. Then just do it over here, which is maybe a bit difficult, but. And now the lens is in. Alright. Yep. See how it um, won't pop out. I'm actually putting a good bit of pressure on it. And it's in. I like it. It's a really nice mask. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, kill it here. This has been Dylan with Dylan's. I'm pretty sure I made the name Dylan's Hobbies. And uh, over and